Hey class, in the past some teams have had trouble creating a needs metric matrix that looks similar to the one that's shown in the book or the course pack, Exhibit 6-5, so I thought I'd show you a few tips for using Excel in order to get that sort of look. So here's the one in the book, and I got started making a similar one in Excel, and you can get something that looks pretty similar um, when it's all said and done. So I'll show you in a new sheet how I did that. So I suppose I would start by typing out all the information. Notice that I'm leaving room, so I'm going to have two columns here that are reserved for the needs, and then I can start with my uh, metrics, and uh, the metrics need two rows. So you can see that I'm leaving a box of uh, four empty spaces at the top left. And I'm just going to type over, you know, I'm in the right cell, uh, even though this is still horizontal, I can just start typing in this next cell. I'm going to select the columns themselves, and I'm going to right click and go to column width and find a value that makes the columns approximately square. So I think that two worked given the size that I had for the, the rows. Unfortunately, it's not a direct correspondence. So if you right click on a row and look at the row height, uh, that says 15, whereas if you go to column width, uh, that's only two. So you can't type the same numbers in both. That's okay, we get them approximately square. And then I'm going to make sure that the text in these cells, I'm gonna select all these cells that I want rotated to 90 degrees. I'm going to rotate them. So I right click that and go to format cells and I'm going to click on alignment and move the text to 90 degrees. Okay, automatically resizes them nicely. Um, I can also double click at the end of column B or I can resize it manually to be the right size and already it's starting to look a lot more like the original table, the table that I'm trying to get to. I'm probably gonna resize this one, make that a little bit smaller. These are already right aligned, I think, by default. In case I wanted to change that, let's say I got down to, you know, 20. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're already right aligned, but um, when there are multiple characters, if you wanted to change that, you can select all these and go to Format Cells, and then go to Alignment, and the horizontal, you can make it right, right aligned. Okay. And then these up top here, um, you know, say you got to number 26. Well, these don't look exactly like they do in the book. These are aligned at the top. Well, we can achieve that same effect by selecting these cells. Format cells, alignment, vertical, top. And there we go. All these ones, we're going to want the dots to appear in the center. One way you can get that center dot. What I normally do is actually, I just go to Google and I search. This is what I do. I, you know, center dot symbol. That's the symbol that I want. I find a reference that has it and I can select it, control C or right click and copy. And then I can paste it in the cell. I might actually want to paste it right here so it doesn't mess with the formatting. Okay, so now I've got my, my dot there. Now I want that to appear in the very center so I'm going to make sure that, you know, it's a little bit off to the side right now. So I'm going to find all my square cells and I'm going to select them all and I'm going to right click and format cells and make sure I set the horizontal alignment to center and the vertical alignment to center. And that should take care of it. Then I just need to uh, add the grid. So a grid around the important cells. You know, if I were to do a print preview right now, then you see that there's no grid. These gray lines that Excel creates are just for our reference. We can make the black lines by selecting the cells we're interested in and dropping down this menu, selecting all borders and the same sort of thing for the rows. In any case, the only thing left is need and metric, and I can add those. I think the easiest way is honestly to go to insert and go to text box and type out need make sure this is big enough and i'm going to right click and format shape 
that'll let me get rid of the fill and the line surrounding it. And now I've just got the text. I'll bold that to make it a little, look a little bit more like it does in the table. Copy it. Make another one for the metrics. And actually, I did a little bit more searching. I found that the bullet point character is a little bit larger. So I'm going to go ahead and use that instead of the interpunct character. So paste that in there. And that looks a little bit better. And then I can, you know, put those bullet points in where they're supposed to be by copy pasting. All right, if we do a print preview on that, then we see it looks pretty similar to what it looks like in the textbook.